What's up cooks? So I've gotten a lot of questions about my little butane cooktop burner here. I thought I'd answer a few and I got another one in the mail today. We're going to unbox that and um, I'm going to show you how to install the canister to one of these butane stoves. So join me. Let's talk stoves. So when we bought this house, I was coming from a place that had a cooktop in my island. And I'm so used to having that. And when we bought this house, our plan was to crack this uh, quartz and put a cooktop. We have a regular cooktop over there. But we made the decision to build the studio kitchen in the basement and that will have a cooktop in the island. So temporarily I've been using this butane burner and I've actually grown to really like it. I put it on my top 10 gadgets for 2022 because I've used this so much. So this is a basic butane burner. You can use it out on your deck. You can use it camping, you can use it at the park, all that fun stuff. The question is whether you can use it indoors. A lot of people use it indoors. Sometimes we pop the uh, our door over here open. Um, that's just a personal decision that you will have to make for yourself. This isn't my permanent cooktop. I have a regular cooktop. So for what I use it, it's just for special occasions or when we're filming, right? And so this is not like my permanent um, burner. I don't know if I would use it as a permanent burner just because there could be some in indoor environmental issues with it. But I really like it. I love this thing. Um, and a lot of people uh, ask me so many comments since I put this on my top 10 gadget list. So I actually ordered a second one because there are times where I want to cook and have a, a pot of pasta boiling. So I ordered a second one just for purposes of the show. And that's what this is. So this is a tea chef. It's exactly the same as the burner I've been using. Um, it's a portable gas stove and it is butane. Um, and this is how it comes. So we're going to take this out. We're going to have two cooktops in here now, right? Woo. It's been, a, I, I bought this a while ago. So it's been a while since I had a brand new one. So when you get one of these, this is how it looks comes in a box like that. Pretty easy to deal with. And it's clean. <laughs> and this one's clean. Right, I've used the heck out of the one that I have. So we're gonna take these stickers off. Yeah, it looks exactly the same as my old one. So to protect the cords, I use these big silicone trivets. And I just got some additional trivets recently and I put these down just to protect everything so it doesn't get too hot. I put these here and that's how I cook. Um, so the main question I got was about the butane uh, gas, I guess you call it. It's butane fuel for portable gas ranges. My first tip is to buy this at your local international store because if you buy it at a regular store, you're going to pay like eight bucks a can at your international store. I paid eight bucks for four cans, right? So the biggest question I had is how to load the canister in the butane stove. So here we have a little flipper that's right here and it opens this area where the canister is going to go. So you're going to take the lid off the canister and it has just like a little pin here. So what you see here, there's like a little notch on here and this is where the pin goes. 
You'll see on the canister, there's a little notch on the canister as well and a little pin. All you do is line up that notch with the gap in there and push it and it's installed that yeah. quick. Yeah. And to take it out, you just pull it out that easy. So you can see the little notch in there. The notch goes in here. You put it there, push it and it's installed. You're ready to go. So all you do, here's our brand new stove. This one, to get the ignition going, you go all the way to on, it goes click, 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 boom, it'll fire up, and then you can regulate the temp. So a lot of them, you have to go all the way over to hit the ignition, and once it lights, then you can um, change the heat. So we're gonna go. There you go. And then you just turn it off. So you just go, yeah! yeah. They're pretty easy. Some people tell me, oh, I'm so scared because I don't want, I don't think I can put the can in there. Simple. Take it out, just like this. If you're afraid, because if you turn this, you could open this valve and gas could go and you don't even know it, right? So if you're worried about it when you're done cooking, just pop the can out and then that won't happen, right? Then you just stick, when you're getting ready to click, stick your can in there, close it up. Carbon monoxide detector goes a long way, so yeah. don't worry. If you have a car, yeah, definitely have a carbon monoxide detector in your house. So this little pamphlet gives you some general safety uh, information. Do not use this as a space heater. Always inspect the stove and the butane cylinder for connections and damage. Keep it out of the reach of children. Do not use the stove while you're sleeping. Never leave the stove unattended when hot or when in use. Keep the stove area clear of combustible materials. Um, do not use an oversized pan that could cause the canister to overheat. And do not use two or more stoves covered by a single pan or plate. It can produce carbon monoxide, which has no odor, and never use this in an enclosed space such as a camper, tent, or car. So the best thing is to use this outdoors. Whether you decide to use it indoors is a personal preference. I'm always in, in attendance of it. I'm never leaving it alone. And when I use it, it's for a short period of time. And you need plenty of ventilation. You need a lot of ventilation. So you might use it, say, during the summer, have the door open or whatever. Um, I, we have a carbon monoxide detector right there. And so that's, that's how I use it. Um, I generally use my cooktop, though. But you will be seeing my new beautiful Viking stovetop downstairs when we uh, officially finish the studio kitchen. So that is my butane uh, little cooktop, and that is how to install a canister in a butane stovetop. So thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.